draw a tank top. Um, we are gonna practice using the pen tool. We're gonna practice using um, handlebars to make curved anchor points. Um, and we're gonna practice making um, a flat CAD that is symmetrical. Okay, and we're gonna try to use as little amount of anchor points as possible as well. Okay, so um, I kind of have a little connect the dots fun activity for you guys. So you're gonna open this file. You'll wanna make sure you're on layer three um, and you're gonna connect these dots. And if you kind of look at it, it sort of forms like the shape of a tank top. The red dots are gonna be curved anchor points. So the ones that have the handlebars that come out and the black dots are not gonna be curved. Um, so I don't know, take a minute and see if you can kind of see the front neck being lower and then on this will be the back side of the tank top. So um, this is just designed to get you guys more familiar with the pen tool because we're going to be using it all semester. So the sooner you can get comfortable with this tool, the more fun this class will be. So we're going to hit the letter P for the pen tool. And what we're going to do is we're just going to draw one side of it. And then we're going to copy and paste and flip it. And then we'll connect it in the middle. So I'm actually not going to, I'll start over here. So I'm going to click here and then all I have to do is just click to the next dot. Now this dot I have to click and drag because it's going to be a curved um, line and then I'm going to click one time on that black dot and click one time right there and I am done. Now I'm going to hit letter A because I might want to go in and fix it. So I'm going to hit Z a little bit and I should have a shoulder slope and it looks like I'm off a little bit. So I'm gonna hit the letter A and I can bring this anchor point down and I can bring this anchor point up. And there we go. Now we have a nice shoulder slope, which is good. Um, I pan by holding the space bar. I actually kind of like the way my curve turned out. I kind of lucked out, but if you didn't really like yours, you can change it. Usually you want it to be like, kind of like a 90 degree angle down here. Um, you don't want the curve like super high. You, you usually it cuts a little bit more, um, but this is pretty good actually. So I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, I'm gonna pan by holding the space bar. I'm gonna do the letter V. Okay, cool. So to make this guy symmetrical, I can select it and then I can go object, transform, reflect. And I would say vertical. Oh, yes, and then I would say copy. And then now it's selected, so I want to move it, but I don't want it to drop or dip. So what button on the keyboard would I push to make sure it stays aligned? If you were thinking shift, you are correct. I'm going to bring it over to where the other dots are, and voila, there they go. They fit pretty good. Cool. Okay, so now I want to connect them. I'm going to hit the letter P. Take a minute. Look at the icon of the pen tool. Do you see that little star? It's like an asterisk, is that what they call it? A little star shape? That means I'm gonna start drawing a new line, but I don't wanna draw a new line. I wanna connect these two. So as I hover over the open anchor point, do you see the little slash line that has now appeared? That's a message <laughs> saying, hey, we're gonna continue drawing this line that you started. That's what we want, awesome. So I'm gonna click it one time, and you can see it's selected, awesome, it worked. Kind of double check yourself that it did work. It's not drawing a brand new line because this is now selected. And we wanna connect it over here. And then look, do you see the little icon? It's not a slash line, it's a little like anchor point. It's like, hey, we're gonna connect it. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna click it. And look, the whole thing is selected now, so it worked, it's all connected. Okay, but we have an opening here, so I need to finish drawing it. So I'm gonna look for my slash line. Boom, there's my slash line. I can click one time. We have a curved line. So I have to click and drag. I suggest holding shift, get the neckline you like. And then now it gave us a handlebar that's controlling the shape of this line. It automatically mirrored the same angle, the same length of the handlebar. So that means when I go up here, all I have to do is click one time. I don't have to click and drag or anything, and it'll be the same mirrored shape, okay? So uh, I also want to close this path. So do you see the little icon that pops up? It's a circle. That's 
Bingo, that's great. Click, that means it closed the whole shape. So the whole shape is now connected. I have one lovely tank top here. There it is, look at my tank top, okay? It is symmetrical, all that good stuff. Cool, so now we can do the same for the back um, or I could just copy what I already drew. I'm gonna hold Option. Do you see this little white arrow that kind of pops out? If I hold Shift, I can scoot it so they stay aligned. I will let go of the mouse first and then I will let go of the keyboard where I'm holding Shift and Option. Cool, and so all I really have to do is fix the next neckline. I could maybe just delete it and redraw it or I can hit letter A find that anchor point and move it up. I'm holding shift to let it go straight up. And boom, now I have the back as well, the front and back. Um, so that's all you need to do for this assignment. I just want you guys to get more practice with the pen tool. I just really wanna break it down and make sure you guys are understanding it. Um, so if, if this was hard for you, just erase it and do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. I want this to be super easy to do, okay? Because we're gonna be using this pen tool all semester.